See you. Sit. Sit, Papa. Not yet. Hey, sit. Stay. He's a new dog. He can have as many treats as he likes. You can't. Stay. No. Stay. Then off you go. <laughs> There's so many things we can do in the park to just bring them into this peaceful state of mind. They form quite a nice commune. They don't benefit from taking chunks out of other dogs or trying to sort of maintain their status. I want them to all feel equal and uh, well, it looks like they get it. Tai, the black uh, kind of stuffy lab cross. Taiski, Tai. Hey, Tai. Come here, he's one of the best trained dogs here. Thanks to the owners. Good boy. And come here. Tai, spin and twirl and sit, dig. Nice, paw, paw. Tai, nice. Speak, Tai, speak, speak. Tai, speak. That's my boy. Sebastian is rather bright, sometimes too bright for his own good. That's a beautiful tricolored collie with the tennis ball there. He had some problems when he came up, uh, but that's been, I don't know, seven, eight years now. He's very clever, he does so many tricks. Pablo, he's the newest kid in town. It's this little fella. Well, doing very well. He is a spoiled sort of St. John's Wood dog that just walked on the pavement the beginning of his life, and he just loves it in the pack. Completely out of character. Everyone thinks of the King Charles Spaniel, those little woose dogs, you know, they just like to cuddle and sit on your laps, that's it. No, not, not the case with him. Doberman was the police referral dog, so managed to blacklist himself. It's been about two and a half years since, and he's a gorgeous dog. I put in so much time into this dog. Come here, Max. Come here. Uh, he's also Max, as it happens. Uh, as, as you can see, he has to wear the muzzle. Uh, not because he actually needs it, it's the owners who seem to know better. Just sorry, I just can't really talk like this about people. Well, anyways, they insist on him wearing the muzzle, and uh, I have to respect that. He doesn't need it, he's absolutely, you know, bulletproof. That dog just would not attack a child, a dog, or a hu you know, human being. It's just really nice, and as I said, after putting so much time into that dog, it's heartbreaking. And the guy just says, you're not the one to decide, just stick the muzzle on and forget about it. But I'm not worried about it at all because I work with dogs. I'm a professional and I know the dog I can trust and I, I know the dogs I cannot. And he's all right with me. You've been the naughtiest one when you came to us. You remember that? Yes. He lives with three cats in the house, by the way. Very friendly with them. Just wasn't friendly with anything outside the house. Humans, dogs, cats, but he reconsidered that all very quickly. This one is pestering other dogs and uh, he's picking on the stronger male dogs in the pack, basically asking for a conflict. And it means if I let him continue, the others will stand up for themselves and we, I can't allow that. He's just sort of sticking his nose into their privates and trying to sort of express all these dominant and bullying body postures you know, trying to put himself up before them. And, well, in this pack, it just doesn't work this way. They're all equal. You can see they're just as happy to share food, you know, to mix together, to play with one tennis ball. So they just simply can't do it. He's intact, never been trained. I hardly had dogs pulling on the lead harder than him. See, that's what I mean. And he wants to go back, so he doesn't read any dog signals. Uh-huh. Uh, he's a trouble, this fella. It's been about an hour of a walk. He hasn't given me a single glance. People do not exist in his life. He doesn't register. Yeah. It's social if you start doing things with them. He's just never discovered that, you know, looking up at people is, is a worthwhile cause. It's obviously not been. He just follows the instincts, very happy. Hormonal, strong, and dominant. Sebi, sit. Dalmatian, he's a star of the show. He's done so many commercials and films and God knows what. Yeah, just because everyone wants a clever Dalmatian. Uh, and we have just what they're looking for. 
Okay. <laughs> He's walked with us since he was three months old. He's coming to nine. Next to him is the smallest dog in the group. In this pack, she's the oldest. Uh, she's 12. And uh, used to be uh, such a hellraiser when she was younger. Just taking over all the big dogs, you know, just competing for the tennis ball or for food. Well, now she's taking it easy. I'm consistent and I'm firm. And I have my principles, which I'm not prepared to let go. You can see the pack, they're absolutely perfectly you know, under control, behaving excellently. They're all happy because they know the boundaries. And when it comes to discussing the boundaries, I do not negotiate those. People, they all have opinions. And the Hampstead crowd, being as eccentric as most of them are, well, their opinions seem to be much stronger than they should have been. At the end of the day, that's why I work with dogs. You know, they're sincere and they're bright. And their opinions, they, they keep to themselves. They react to the outside world as it should be reacted to. He has a charisma with dogs. I mean, it is like the Pied Piper. Dogs adore him. Good boy. He does command respect. They, they know they can't get away with anything with him. Max, sit. Good boy. Stay. It's pretty good. Stay. Be good. Max, sit. Stay. And wait until I call you. Stay. <laughs> that was good! Good! Yay! Good boys! <laughs> Sebi, speak! <coughs> That's my boy! Good boy! Sydney, speak! <coughs> nice! Thanks, King! Thanks! Where are you? Speak! Nice. Dalmatian, speak. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs, right? You know, it's a badly behaved dogs. <laughs> I, I don't understand that. No, my dogs are the best. Children, this way. Good boy. Now it's better. Yes, I like you. Nothing personal. I just don't want you to fight. That's all, and if you provoke other dogs, you will be the first one to get in trouble. Okay. Nice, walking to hill. Nice. Good. Sit. Gana. Tai. Sit, boys. Stay. Steady.